Hi, my name is Jenny Opalinski and I'm the Curator of History here at the Panhandle Plains Historical Museum. Today, cauldrons are only used as Halloween decorations, but centuries ago they were a vital piece of everyday life. These kitchen essentials were used for boiling water, cooking, cleaning, bathing, and as vessels to carry water. Cauldrons were often used in religious rites and ceremonies due to their versatility and stability. As a cauldron's primary goal is to hold water, pools, lakes, and other large bodies of water were often referred to as cauldrons in mythology. It's easy to see where these objects were assigned their mythical qualities. A boiling cauldron over a fire creates an image of magic with steam rising, bubbles popping, and heat being emitted. A raw piece of meat is transformed into an edible morsel when it's removed from the cauldron. The act of continuously stirring a cauldron was linked to the eternal life cycle and rebirth. These elements of magic and transformation add to the lore and history of a cauldron. In a Celtic legend, the most famous cauldron was the Cauldron of Ceridwen. Ceridwen was a sorceress, often represented as a crone figure, and she used a large cauldron to brew a potion that would give knowledge and wisdom to whoever drank it. This potion was meant only for her son Morfrin, who is a dark, ugly, and malevolent figure. The mixture had to be boiled and stirred for one year and one day. She had a blind man continuously feeding the fire, and a boy named Gwen Bach endlessly stirring the potion. On accident, Gwen splashed three drops of the potion onto his hand. When he soothed his hand with his mouth, he accidentally ingested some of the potion, which gave him the gift of knowledge. Knowing that Ceridwen would be furious with his new talent, he flees. Ceridwen pursues him over several seasons, with both of them shape-shifting into various animals. At last, Gwen is caught, swallowing and being reborn as Taliesin, which is a great Welsh poet. This is the explanation of how Taliesin was imbued with that level of knowledge and wisdom. Another popular cauldron legend is featured in William Shakespeare's Macbeth. In Act 4, Scene 1, three witches crowd around the cauldron and encant the notorious spell over their brew. Round the cauldron go, in the poison entrails throw, toad that under cold stone, days and nights, nights has 31. Sweltered venom sleeping got, boil thou first in the charm pot. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. This iconic scene continues with a detailed description of the other ingredients being added to the potion they are creating. While Shakespeare can be difficult for a modern ear to understand, the witches are often considered the favorite characters in the play because of their staging and uniqueness. Cauldrons have a rich history in their own right, strengthened by legends, myth, and lore. These vital vessels are a key part of our past. So remember, this Halloween, as you break out your decorations to pay homage to this unique object and perhaps create a brew of your own to celebrate it.